everybody, Chaplain McEwen here. Today I'm going to do a, a quick how-to on tying the tensionless anchor knot. And since I don't have a lot of rope, I'm going to use a pretty small anchor. Okay, I'm using this wee tree here, and I'm going to give three to four turns around the rope, around the tree. And there you see my th at least three turns, three to four turns. The important thing to remember is for this to be tensionless, so that there's no tension placed on the rope by a knot, all these wraps um, should not cross over each other. They should all lie parallel to one another. And you can see just with that wrap alone, it's a strong anchor. It's not going anywhere. See? So next I'm going to tie a figure eight here. And you can see the figure eight. So I have the figure eight tied. And now I'm going, and I don't want to tighten that too much because I'm going to be running it back through. So we're going to make our loop around the fall line. And just follow the figure eight knot back around. Make our loop not too big, not too small. Now we have this figure eight nice and tight. Can you see that double figure eight there? And now we have a tensionless anchor. And this is a safety line. So if for some reason your tensionless anchor unwraps around your anchor point, this will snap back and it becomes a safety so you don't have it completely unwind on you. And you can see it's a good strong line. And the other thing that we can do is instead of running this loop around the fall, we can simply use a carabiner. This is not a real carabiner, it's a keychain carabiner, but for the purpose of the video, we'll do the job. And then we do the same thing. We have a carabiner there holding our line safe. Another way that you can tie this figure eight safety loop is to simply tie, hold this in some way, double up your line like this, and then simply tie um, a figure eight on a bite. Press the knot a little bit. And there you have a figure eight with a loop made, and then you can just use your carabiner to hook it up. And there you go. This should actually be a little tighter. Ordinarily, it would probably be a little bit more like that. So, I hope that helps you understand how to use the tensionless knot, or the tensionless anchor, I guess. Until next time, God bless, safe travels.